in this question two particles of equal mass m and having unlike charges of modulus q each are placed in free space at distance r not apart a uniform and constant magnetic field of induction b is established everywhere perpendicular to the line joining the particles and the particles are now released if the magnetic field is sufficient to avoid collision of the particles find the minimum separation between the particles okay so let's uh, solve this one so uh, i have shown here the particles uh, this is let's say plus q here and this is minus q and i have taken uh, they are initially on the x axis so i have taken this axis to be x axis and this is the y axis initial separation is r not so when we release these two obviously magnetic force cannot uh, apply any force because uh, magnetic field cannot apply any force because there is no velocity initially particles are released from rest so due to their electrostatic attraction force the particle will tend to move along the x axis okay so they will gain a very small velocity uh, after release and due to that velocity this magnetic force magnetic force will come into picture and uh, if initial velocity is along let's say x axis so let's say this magnetic field is into this plane into this plane and this will be the negative z axis okay so outward is the positive z axis so due to this mag magnetic field this plus q will experience a force in the upward direction and that force will deflect this particle in this direction in towards y axis and it will continuously bend like this okay so it will continuously bend like this and due to symmetry we can say their paths will be symmetric to each other okay so they will be uh, similar looking paths and uh, at any moment of time uh, displacement y displacement of this one and y displacement of this one will be equal so they will be the electrostatic force will always be along the x axis and uh, they will attract each other like this okay so now what we can do to solve this problem okay so we have to find this minimum distance okay so minimum distance will occur when the particle will curve away like this okay so it will move away like this so at this point where the distance is minimum we can say the velocity is purely along this y axis and x component of velocity initially increases and then it decreases to zero here okay so we will use this thing to find the minimum distance okay so here the velocity is completely along y axis so we have to make some expressions related to velocities okay so where we can put that v is equal to the net velocity is equal to the y component of the velocity so we need those kind of equations and let's see how we can form those equations so one thing is magnetic force cannot do any work okay so we can apply energy conservation here and energy conservation is the uh, final kinetic energy plus final electrostatic potential energy is equal to initial kinetic energy plus initial potential electrostatic potential energy so we can make these ex expressions velocities uh, are equal okay speeds are equal so i can write twice of half mv square and this is k q and q2 by r so at any general moment i am assuming that this separation to be r okay so this is minus k q by square by r and this is minus k q square by initial separations are not so from here we can get the expression of velocity in terms of the initial separation and the uh, separation at this general instant so this is the general velocity now let's move further now we need some kind of vy expression expression of vy okay so in the direction of y so now i am writing the force equation so sometimes in this kind of situations in magnetic field equations so it is beneficial to write the net force in vector format and sometimes we can get some clue from there so i can write electrostatic force i am writing force on this charge only here okay so fe is this kq square by r square towards the positive x axis and magnetic force i can write at some point of time the velocity is vx i cap plus vy j cap and cross with the magnetic field which is minus bk cap so it will give you the magnetic force and this is the net force i have added this two so this is the net force along the x axis and this is the net force along the y axis okay so this expression is looking complex so i'm going with this expression and let's see this will work or not so this force is along y axis this is the y component of the force and this can be written as m dv y by dt mass into acceleration now vx you can dx upon dt and 
now you can form this equation m d v y so now we get this one okay so this is in terms of now v y and now i can integrate both the sides so limit on v y will be initially there is no v y okay initial the velocity is along the x axis only and it is from 0 to v y and what is the uh, x so x is initially this x coordinate is negative so it is minus r naught by 2 and here at some general instant it is minus r by 2 so i have written minus r naught by 2 minus r by 2 so it will give me a relation of v y okay so now i have v y now i have v square so these two equations are uh, very important to solve this question now so what i will do uh, at the minimum separation okay so let's see so at uh, the point of minimum separation at r is equal to r minimum so velocity is completely along this y axis and so v is equal to vy okay both are equal and vx component is zero so what you can do this vy is also equal to v and this is v and this is also v so you square this one and uh, now both are v is v square so you can equate this two now okay after squaring the equation number two so if you do this you will get this quadratic equation and this quadratic equation you can solve to get the value of r minimum because we are we have formed this quadratic equation on the basis of v is equal to v y we have put this input in these two equation that both are equal v is equal to v y and then only we are getting this equation so obviously this equation will give me after solution the minimum distance between the two particles okay so let's see what's the answer so if you solve this quadratic equation the answer will be like this okay so after some rearrangement you can rearrange the answer like this r is equal to some uh, r naught by 2 into 1 and plus minus so so, so this thing is here we have uh, two roots we have two roots of r plus and minus okay and i cannot uh, rule out uh, uh, one of the roots because both the roots are positive okay so our distance is positive one plus this thing and one minus this thing so both are positive roots so let's see how to eliminate one of these roots okay so we have to get uh, into depth in this question to understand which root to take here okay so we have to go into some depth and uh, by going into that depth uh, we can also uh, find some another conclusions and in this question that those conclusions are also useful and questions can also be asked uh, from those areas also okay so let's further analyze this equation so obviously this uh, uh, this equation should have discriminant greater than or equal to zero for having roots okay real roots and also you can see you can also uh, this under root in this under root this quantity should be positive okay so both are the same thing this is your discriminant so discriminant is greater than or equal to zero and from here you are making the equation b square minus 4ac this will be greater than or equal to zero and from here this r naught should be greater than or equal to this quantity okay so from here you can find that to what should be the minimum for a given magnetic field what should be the minimum initial distance okay so initial distance also is also important uh, for, for the particle for particles not to collide so this is the minimum distance this thing is the minimum distance initially okay so what will happen if uh, r naught is exactly equal to this okay exactly equal to this minimum value so if r naught is exactly equal to this so obviously we are taking discriminant to be a zero okay if discriminant is zero or you can say this thing is zero then r is equal to r naught by 2 so minimum distance will become r naught by 2 here and uh, if minimum distance is r naught by 2 so let's further analyze this uh, condition so now put this r is equal to r naught by 2 in our equation 1 and 2 okay so these are the equations 1 and 2 and put r is equal this r is equal to r naught by 2 which is the minimum distance we have got for this condition so r is equal to r naught by 2 if we put in this equation equation number 1 r is equal to r naught by 2 here in this equation number 2 and now divide both the, both this equation vy you can put equal to v so vy is equal to v okay so this is v square and this is v so if you divide so v square by v it will give you v and here also you will get something so whatever you are getting i have arranged this thing like this so if you divide this thing so you will get this equation q v b and this is equal to this thing k q square divided by r naught square by 4 so q v is the magnetic force and k q square divided by the distance is square distance is r naught by 2 at that time so you you will get magnetic force is equal to the electrostatic force for this particular condition when distance is equal to r naught by 2 so what will happen after that 
so these two forces balance each other okay and uh, particle is moving along y axis so it will continue moving along y axis now because these two forces balance each other okay so it will continue to move like this along the positive y axis so it will go and in continue to move like this and distance will now be a fixed okay so minimum distance it will be now fixed r is equal to 1 over by 2 it will be moving like this and other particle also moving like this and distance will be fixed now so if r naught is equal to exactly equal to this then the minimum distance answer should be r is equal to r naught by 2 okay so this is the minimum distance what will happen for other cases so if let's say i am taking this case and for this case obviously the discriminant uh, uh, cannot be positive here ok so if r0 is less than equal to this so we have uh, formed this quadratic equation we formed this quadratic equation on the basis of v is equal to vy ok so on the basis of v is equal to vy we formed this quadratic equation so obviously if uh, r0 is not uh, r0 is not greater than uh, if discriminant is not positive r0 is less than this then v cannot be equal to vy because that is the basis behind that quadratic equation so v cannot be equal to vy obviously then v should be greater than vy because v is the resultant speed under root vx square plus vy square so if v is greater than vy so obviously there is some vx vx cannot be zero so particle will continue to move towards each other because it is moving like this it is moving like this and vx is not becoming zero so particles continue to move towards each other and because distance is uh, less than uh, particular minimum distance so initial distance is less than that particular minimum distance so here the electrostatic force will be dominating and the electrostatic force is attractive here so particles are going to collide okay so initial separation is less than this then particles are going to collide okay so this is another conclusion so we have uh, we have seen two cases r not exactly equal to this r not is less than equal to this if r not is less than equal to this quantity so electrostatic force is dominating okay, over the magnetic force always okay if particles are going to collide if uh, these two are exactly equal then uh, at the minimum separation time uh, r is equal to r naught by 2 and both the forces are equal okay. so in this situation now we can simply say that if uh, r naught is greater than this uh, distance critical distance critical initial distance then the minimum separation because minimum separation for this that condition was become r naught by 2 now the minimum separation should be greater than r naught by 2 why because when uh, v is equal to vy so when v is equal to vy at that situation this uh, magnetic force is now greater than the electric force and since magnetic force is greater than the electric force at that situation so particle was going like this parallel to the y axis at minimum separation and magnetic force is acting like here so particles uh, going like this will deflect this way okay so particle will deflect this way and distance will now again increase and if distance increase kinetic energy will be decreasing now okay so kinetic energy will be decreasing speed will be decreasing and particle will again come to a rest and this motion will be repeated i have shown this motion here okay so for this situation particle is going like this like this and here the velocity is completely along y axis because magnetic force is dominating over the electrostatic force here so it will deflect in this direction and it will go like this and by symmetry of the problem we can say it will again stop and again it will start like this it will again start like this and and this motion will be repeated now so this type of trajectory will be there and now we have uh, arrived at the conclusion that the minimum distance should be greater than r0 by 2 for this situation okay so it should be more than r0 by 2 so we should definitely use a plus sign here so this is the final answer to this problem